morning my lovelies welcome back to another video i hope you're all doing really wonderful today i'm jumping on camera because our is asleep so it's prime time to kind of try and get a video done so that's the plan i just really wanted to do like an autumnal toned makeup look like i've done my base already for you so i'm just focusing on like lips and eyes today uh, nothing too big or bold but just something that you know it's a bit more comforting a bit more me and just to kind of chat to you really because i felt the need to have a chat um whilst rj is asleep because i don't get time to do that so like i said i've already done my base so i'm going to zoom you in so i can do my eyes and then we'll do lips um, and then i'll just chat to you yeah i'll link everything that's on my base in the description uh nothing that you haven't seen already but I'll do that anyway. Just quickly do my brows. Um, I'm literally just going to use Refi. I have bought some more Brow Boy by Glossier. Um, I'm just going to like brush them up um, and then just apply some product. My brows have got majorly bushy. Um, <laughs> I actually like them like this. It, it began because I was just being too lazy to kind of cut them cut pluck trim whatever i'm just going to use obviously their clear brow gel um but i actually quite like that they're a bit more wild i don't really do like the instagram brow i have found recently like i've just been reflecting quite a lot on things on life obviously being a mum is incredibly difficult it's incredibly rewarding but it's incredibly hard and trying to do things that you really enjoy doing when you're taking care of a a baby is not as easy <laughs> um like filming youtube videos it's not as easy when he's awake and he's crawling and he's climbing and wanting to chew everything and you know so yeah and i've just found it to be honest he's been poorly the last three weeks i found it very hard the last three weeks emotionally mentally it's been draining um it's just he's not been sleeping so it's just made everything really really hard and you kind of forget to take care of yourself which is what i've been thinking about lately just what do i enjoy what do i want how can i be a great mum and give him everything he needs but also get everything i need um and obviously focus on my relationship gary and all of that good stuff like there's a lot to kind of there's a lot to think about so yeah uh for eyes i'm actually going to go in with the huda beauty caramel brown when i think of like autumnal tones and colors i think of oranges reds greens browns um so this is kind of like the perfect palette obviously it's got no greens in but it's got a lot of autumnal tones in there i'm firstly going to go in with this like lighter shade just to cover my lid and this isn't obviously going to be too complex like i don't do complex makeup looks you know this as i said like recently found things quite difficult being a mum that motherhood has taken a massive toll on me like in the most wonderful way but also in the most difficult way i found things really hard sometimes i found things super amazing sometimes i surprised myself constantly there's nothing that i wouldn't do that's sticking out it's annoying there's nothing that i wouldn't do for my son like literally nothing um but some days i'm just like I'm so tired, like I don't know how to do this. Other days I'm like, this is amazing, like let's play. And it's just really quite bizarre, like what it does to you. But like the physical changes, the mental changes, the just there's so many changes that you go through being a mum. Like not only does your body go through this massive change, it's afterwards as well. Like afterwards it's just, it's hard, like it's hard work. Like my hair's fell out started growing back so now i've got like loads of little like um I've got, like a weird little fringe thing and like little tufts of hair that are now growing back and like my skin's changed my body's completely changed and and that things didn't fit me now they do fit me and then just everything is just it just throws up everything in the air 
it's crazy it is crazy so yeah there's that um, i'm gonna go in with this shade right here which is like a beigey color um but actually this comes with a bit more orangey brown i'm gonna use the same brush because i'm being a one brush wonder today and i'm literally just gonna pop that just on my lid i'm not going to go in the crease with it just on my lid and in the inner corner um yeah so i've been thinking about what i want to do and i really want to get back into doing youtube i found that i've just had so much on my plate obviously i started a new business well we've been going a year now which is incredible obviously being a mum it has been a lot like i i've not had like a what i would say a normal maternity leave like in a month's two months time I go back to work which is just insane and I don't feel like I've had a break and that's my own fault really and now I'm going to go in with this beautiful like bronzy goldy shimmer just on my lid I thought that'd be quite nice to do um, I'm just gonna use a flat brush this is beautiful I'm just gonna pack it on but like more in the inner corner and then let it fade out into the outer corner. So it blends. So it's not too dramatic. Do you see what I mean? I just haven't sat down and just really enjoyed doing makeup on myself. Um, I was talking to my little brother about this yesterday. Because I was just like, I just the things I miss doing that i've neglected to do i feel like it's time to get that bit of me back do you know what i mean and you know it's just it's all a massive learning curve i'm now going to take that first shade the the beige orangey shade right here i'm going to just pop that underneath my lower lashes just make it out a little bit there is no amount of concealer that will get rid of my bags no amount of concealer. Go like so. And now I'm going to just curl my lashes. I'm actually going to try and put some mascara on. Um, problem is, I had my lashes lifted um, in August. And um, they didn't set right, so I had to get them done, done again. And because I had to get them done again, it's kind of like damaged my lashes. Um, quite badly so I don't know what this mascara is going to look like because I don't know how good my lashes are at the minute I'm just going in with this little Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara I've never actually used this um, but I thought I'd give it a try because um, I've been decluttering my makeup I haven't worn mascara in I think since I don't even know when I last wore it since I was before I was pregnant maybe when I was pregnant I don't even know. I'm just going to do it like a light coating. I don't want anything too much because I don't want to have to try and take it off. Like, there's nothing better than just sitting on the floor and doing your makeup and having a chat. Like, Gary and I have just bought these. Well, Gary bought them. Like It's like a card game called Served, but it's like a relationship therapy type card game. So say therapy very lightly but it's kind of like um helping you rebuild your relationship um obviously when you have a child everything focuses on your child so uh, we just want to do something for us so like it's um it's really quite interesting i'll see if i can find them and i'll link them below but basically you each have a set of cards and if you want your partner to do something like um, you want them to join in with one of your hobbies or um, you think they're being grumpy and you want them to kind of snap out of it you can just hand them a card and you don't get loads of cards but you get like a a certain amount of um a certain amount of cards it's just gonna be really good i don't think i'm describing it very well but it's gonna be really fun i think and it's gonna it's going to be great for us to kind of experience something new and fun for each other and you have to like the one of the cards is uh it's your turn to plan a weekend away so it forces you to kind of not forces but encourages you to kind of focus on your relationship which is gonna be really nice um, i'm gonna do lips now 
going to go in with, which is a recommendation from one of my amazing subscribers, the Charlotte Tilbury, is this Foxy Brown? Foxy Brown Lip Liner and the So 90s Lipstick. Apparently this combo is incredible, so I thought we could test it. I'm going to go in with the Lip Liner first. I love like a brown lip in autumn. Brown lip and neutral makeup is stunning. I mean, that is so intense, isn't it? And then the lipstick. Oh, I love that. Very intense. Right, I'm just going to spray my face with MAC Prep and Prime. I'm just going to go and get some tissue to dab my lips. Sorry, guys. Oh, Jay just woke up. That's it, you guys. That is today's autumnal toned makeup look. I hope you enjoyed it. Something a little bit different for me. Enjoyable for me. Oh, Jay's got my makeup, so I'm going to make sure we just rub it all over the carpet. Um, my husband would actually lose his shit because um, <laughs> there's no getting that out um, but yes i hope you enjoyed this makeup look it's been really fun to chat to you thank you for listening to me waffle on yeah i've really enjoyed doing this look and i will be doing a lot more i am working out schedule so it should be me back to filming quite regularly and i'm really excited for it i am really excited for it so thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and share with your friends and i'll see you in my next one bye